We deserve better. Well, that's better. why we're here. And that's why we're listening well, to you. Well, that's your job. What's that? That's your job. And I if understand. you want to keep your job, I understand. Well, sir, things will happen. Sir, you know, that's why we're doing this meeting. Emotions running high in Fairview Park tonight at a town hall meeting to address recent flooding issues. The mayor laid out a plan, but many homeowners say it's not good enough. Aubrey Buckley was there and has the latest. I would rather have water on the street flooding my front yard than in my basement. After a frustrating summer of flooding for residents in Fairview Park. Taking our lives, our lives, not our stuff, our lives. People have pictures, history, all that, and, and, and taking the extra time to throw out all that stuff from our lives that we're losing. The city is hearing from homeowners fed up with the situation. I know over 100 people myself that this is happening to, they're getting their basements destroyed. Now you got E. coli everywhere, you have diseases, you have children, you have dogs. I mean, this is disgusting. I can't have my kids down my basement because there's raw sewage. I had a sub pump put in, my house waterproofed, my backyard turns into a pond because we have to splash off. The mayor leading the town hall, first explaining the sewer system, current maintenance on it, and what leads to the flooding, pointing to an overwhelmed system and debris in the lines. He says the city has been working to clean and clear those lines and added restrictors to catch basins to slow the flow into the storm sewer system. I also understand the frustration that many of you have with this issue. The damage that has occurred to your homes, the time and cost to clean up and fix up your homes, and the property that's been lost. The city sharing suggestions to help prevent flooding, such as the free home flooding assistance program where the city engineer and public safety director visit individual homes to assess the problem. Also suggesting home investment options like paying for their own dye testing and says new projects will help like a $3.5 million sewer improvement on Woodstock Avenue from congressional funds. But homeowners say it's not enough. At the end of the day, you need a bunch of workers to go down there and fix the sanitary sewer. When it rains, I don't care, it's six foot of water. It should not come up. Somebody else's fecal matter shouldn't be in your house. So what's next? The city says Congress is reviewing a $1.2 million grant and has other applications out for assistance and says it will keep residents updated on the status of the projects. As some residents tell me, they're ready to move out of the city but worried about their property values and if they'd even be able to sell. Russ? A lot going on there. Yeah. All right, Bree Buckley, thank you. Of course.